no se escucha. Hello, 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 guys. I'm sorry. Ahora sí. My router went out of line. But we are going to continue. Let's see. I am so sorry for the delay. Perdónenme el retraso. Okay, but we always got plan B. Independent plan B. That's good. So let's see, let's see, let's see. We are going to start with the questions. And we are going to do the questions a little bit different. Let's see. Oops. As far as I can see, I'm not the only one. Okay, let's see, guys. Just let me do this. Who else is still there? Quien todavía está allá? Reinaldo, Basilia, and Humberto. Okay, the questions. Emily. Hello, Emily. Okay, pick two of the questions and ask them to Katia, please. Katia. How long have you lived in your house? I don't hear you. Your microphone. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have lived in my house for 45 years. For what? 45. <laughs> you were born there. Usted nació ahí. No, I, ha I am. 48 years old. No way, Jose, no le creemos, but anyway. 45 years, wow, that's a whole, that's your whole life. Interesting, okay. next question, Emily, please. How long have you studied English, Katia? I have studied English for, in, in Inglés Corporativo for three months. Okay, perfect, excellent. Thank you very much, Emily. Katia, please ask Oscar two questions. Oscar. How, hello. Hello, Oscar. How long have you worked work in your company? I don't work in company. I have a business. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next question, Katia. How long... Have you lived in your house? I have been for two years. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you, Katia. Oscar, please, I need you to ask Linda. Okay. Two Linda. Questions. Yes, two questions. Linda, how do you have to, you live in your house? How long have you lived? How long? I live in my house for five years. Five years, okay. In how long have you studied English? I started English for four months. For four months, okay. Thank Perfect. you. Thank you very much, <laughs> Linda. Your big, I mean, your classmate is... Uh, Humberto, two questions. Humberto, how long have you worked in your company? I have worked in my company for eight years. Perfect, Humberto. Linda, worked, worked. La ED después de la casa en la comuna. Worked. Perfect. Humberto, how long have you lived in your house? I have lived in my house for eight years, two. Okay. Perfect, excellent. Humberto, let's see, you got Basilia. Okay. Basilia, uh, how long have you studied English? I studied English uh, since November. Since. 2000, since November 2020. Okay, perfect. 
Excellent. Next question, Humberto. Okay. Um, how, how long have you lived in your house? I have lived for 11 years. Okay. In my house. Perfect. Just remember the time expression goes at the end. Recuerden que la time expression siempre al final va a Okay. Thank you, Humberto. Basilia, you're going to ask Reinaldo. Reinaldo, how long have you worked in your company? I, I have worked in my company for 20 years. How long have you studied English? Uh, I studied English in the last April. Since last uh, April. Since uh, I, last April. Perfect. Thank you very much, Basilia. Reynaldo, you gotta ask Erling. 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 Okay. How long have How long have you lived in your house? I have lived in my house for eight years. Perfect. Hey, the same how as long Roberto. had you? Please, um, please. How long had you worked in your company? I have worked for in my company for seven years. Okay, okay. perfect. Thank you very much. Thanks. Erlene, you have to ask, let's see, you are going to ask Karen. Okay, Karen. How long have you lived in your house? I have lived in my house for two years. Okay. How long have you worked in your company? I don't work in the company. Okay, okay. thanks. Cool, that's life, Karen. Que vida. Okay, Karen. Please, I need you to ask the questions to Mr. Carlos. Charlie, okay. you Oops. here? Hello. I think is oh yes, there he is. Please, Karen, you ask him. Okay, how long have you studied English? I've I've been studying English for two months. How long have you lived in your house? I have been twenty years living in my house. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Remember, you can say, instead of saying I have, you can say I, I, okay? Mr. Carlos, please, can you ask the questions to Elizabeth? Okay, Elizabeth. Um, how long have you worked in your company? I don't work. Okay, and how long have you studied English? I study English for five months. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now, Elizabeth, you have to ask Emily. Emily. Yes. How long have you lived in your house? In my house for 12 years. Okay. How long have you studied English? English for I don't know because in in the you, school you include the school yeah okay we study so it's been long ha sido bastante okay excellent excellent now guys I need you to think up a question using present perfect that you are going to ask me. Ahora piensen en una pregunta que ustedes me van a preguntar a mí. ¿Ok? And don't go, don't leave. The class doesn't finish yet. Todavía no terminamos. I still love you a few minutes. ¿Ok? And I have a last activity program. So let's see, who wants to start? ¿Quién comenzará? Let's see. Who's me, going? teacher. Yeah, sure, please, mister, ask me. Uh, whatever question in the for three question. 
you can do another question if you want. Puede hacer otra si quieren. Ah. Ok. Um, what did you do? ¿Cómo era? What do you do? What uh -huh. do you do in, in weekend? In the weekend. What did I do in the weekend? What did you do? That's the question. What, what did you do in the weekend, teacher? Oh, in the weekend, let me see. What did I do yesterday? Well, I woke up. I went to get a haircut. I went to get a haircut. Then I went to my sister's house because there was a family gathering. Una reunión. A family gathering. Uh, we had lunch together. There was my there was my father, my mother, my two sisters, and me. It was just missing my little brother. So we have lunch. Then we came back here home. And then we have pupusas for dinner. So it was not good. Thank you, Oscar. Nice question. Okay, let's see. Okay, thanks. Who's got next? I. Okay, Reynaldo, cool. Ask me. Uh, how long had you married? Mm. Let's see. Uh, 18 years now. No? Yeah. Wow. Let's see. No, 19. 19. Okay. Yep. A long time. <laughs> yeah. It's been a long while. How? How? How do you say quien me aguante? Yeah, I do, I do, I do. <laughs> I am thick okay. skinner. Okay, you say it like this. Okay. So you shall see. You are thick skinner. De ahí viene la expresión que uno es cuerudo. And okay. That's, that's the exactly translation. Thick skinner. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you, Renato. Thank you. Humberto, Thank you. yes, you are next. Humberto raises his hand. Okay. How long have you um, learned in English? Okay. I learned English. How long since you learned English? That would be the question. In este caso, la pregunta sería así. Look, how long, I'm sorry, how long since you learned English? Okay. That would be the question. Since you learned English. How long since you learned English? Well, 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 let me see. The problem, Humberto, is that English for me was never difficult. So, I mean, I was, I was already speaking English when I was like 17, 18 years old. Cuando tenía como 16, 17, ya lo hablaba because it was not difficult. And then I work uh, with an engineer, an electrical engineer, who spoke English. Trabajaba yo con un ingeniero eléctrico quien hablaba inglés. I'm also an electrician. That was my high school. I'm an electricist at San Bachillerato. And we were working with uh, big plants. Trabajé con plantas, electrical plants. But I mean uh, electrical generators, but like uh, big, I mean big machines like uh, what, five meters long, the más de cinco metros de largo. So we were assembling them and the manuals were in English. So uh, I was reading English, I was understanding English and I was practicing. So around when I was like 16, 17 was when I learned English. So it's been a long while, hace rato ya. Thank you, interesting question. Next question. Katia, thank you. You're going to ask me. Okay, teacher. How many times have you taken vacation in a year? Force or willingly? Force 
or a la fuerza. willingly. Willingly es como estando de acuerdo, queriendo. Okay. Let's see in this year. Once. Just Easter. Solo Easter. Because I mean last Saturday was Labor's Day and I worked. El sábado pasado fue el día del trabajo. And I, and I honor it and work. In December, you work. Mostly all December, casi todo, casi todo el mes. Thank you. Let's see, next question, Linda. Um, como ya le preguntaron, ¿cuándo empezó a aprender inglés? Este, my asks, my question. Eh, when you started teaching English? Well, actually, I started in my, at the, right at the beginning, to be exact, right at the beginning of my second semester at the university. Para ser exacto al iniciar mi segundo ciclo en la universidad. That's when I started teaching English. In the year? Was, it was in the year 2000. Okay. Thank you, Linda. Karen, okay. yes. Hi, teacher. Hi. What do you like to do? To do in your free time? Oh, many things. Uh, I love reading. That's my that's my biggest vice. The most grande vicio, reading. I love reading, and also uh, fixing around the house. Also, travesear en la casa. And sometimes on my free time. I also do other types of jobs. También hago otro tipo de trabajo. So I like plumbing, like carpentry, like electricity, like uh, almost anything, cualquier cosa. I like to keep busy. Thank you, Karen. Next question. Let's see who hasn't asked me. ¿Qué me he preguntado? Basilia, you are too quiet today. Um, do you like... Um, do you like travel other countries? Do I like traveling? Uh, well, the problem for me traveling is no by bus. I can travel if means driving. I got no problem if it's driving, but no by bus because I get car sick. I get car sick. You know what's that? Car sick. Mm. Uh, what happens to little kids when they travel by bus or by car that they get uh, oh, Maria. nauseous, yes, dizziness, oh. and I could throw up. I podría throw up. But mm. only when you travel by bus and you drive, no problem. If I drive, no problem. If I drive in, if I ride in a car, so we're in an auto. If I go in the front, if I go in the back, yes, it's a problem it's for me. Problem. Oh, okay. And it's terrible. That's why I don't like traveling by by coaster. I cannot. That's terrible for me. Okay. That's the most horrible. And the aeroplane? Um, oh, no problem at all. No. Ah, okay. No problem at all. Thank you, Basilia. Let's okay. see. Let's see. Ricardo, you got a question for me? Hello, Ricardo. Uh, hi, um, let me see, I think about it, one minute. Uh, uh, give me a, a second. Okay, no problem, no problem, no problem. Okay, before, okay, let's see, who's next? Uh, who hasn't asked me? Elizabeth, you, hasn't, you haven't asked me yet. Tell me something. Okay. Um, what 
as this can you help us to learn English very well? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Repeat. Tell me the question in Spanish, I will. Um, ¿qué, qué consejo nos puede dar oh. para aprender muy bien el inglés? What advice? What advice yes. could you give us to learn the English better? Actually, this is just a matter of practice, Elizabeth. To be honest with you, it's just a matter of practice. That's what's really going to help you. And let me be honest with you. Y déjeme ser honesto con ustedes. Uh, the group that I have here, you got something that is going to help you a lot. And is that you can listen. You got the ear. Pueden escucharlo. If you are not, if somebody is not able to understand when somebody speaks in English at all, you will never speak it. Si usted no es capaz de entender cuando alguien más habla en inglés, nunca lo va a hablar. And that's a fact, believe me. But in your case, you understand me when I speak. So you are going to learn how to speak. It's just a matter of practice. Let's be honest. According to our age, for some of us, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. It will require more practice. Okay? Requerirá un poquito más de trabajo. But it's just that. Practice, practice. So right now, everybody hates Emily. Ahorita todos odiamos Emily. She's the youngest. It's easier for them. But it's just a matter of practice. Let's see. Next question. Next question. Next question. Who's missing? Emily, you haven't asked me anything yet. When did you start to work? And what? No. And yes. What? Working. Your first work. Job. Your first job. Yep. Oh, Emily. I started working when I was 14. I worked since I was 14. Uh, well, let me see. I worked uh, making photocopies. I have worked on so many things. Like, uh, I mean, I pay, my, I pay my career by working in different areas. I pay my career working as an electrician, as a plumber. And sometimes as a helper of a mason. Y a veces hasta de ayudante de albañil. That's how I pay the career. The whole university. So I work uh, selling. Trabajado en ventas. I have work uh, installing uh, ceilings. Instalando cielos falsos. I have work. Uh, I can't uh, do some work of masonry. Puedo hacer alguna cosa de albañilería. So, I mean, I worked like since I was 15 and I haven't stopped yet. Todavía no he parado. Todólogo. Yeah, a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Let's see, next question. Who's missing? ¿Qué me falta? Let's me, teacher. Erlene, yes, ask me. Yes, okay, teacher. Do you like to go to the beach? I love going to the beach. It's, yes, everyone. <laughs> it's my favorite place to visit. Going to the beach for me is cool. Thank you. Yeah, Ricardo, thanks. you are the last one. Everybody's waiting for you, Ricardo. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, can you tell me how, how did you get to this level of English? Uh, and, mm. and can you tell me uh, in what period of time did you learn of this level? Well, as I told you, the situation is this, that I learned English, I spoke, I learned how to speak English by working with people who spoke English. Um, in order to, to increase and to improve my level of English, well, actually, I haven't stopped yet. Realmente en esto no se termina. Because, I mean, I need to practice it. I live in a country where the language is not spoken. Vivo en un país donde no se habla. So, I read, I got like, right now, here next to me, I got a, a, a book shelf with like 200 books. Tengo así como 200 libros just in English. I reading my cell phone in English. I love reading. That helps me a lot. Eso me ayuda mucho. 
I learned with uh, some Americans, Scottish, Canadian people. So I have spoken with, uh, I worked in a, in a community, in an American community, an American Catholic community. So they helped me a lot. I was practicing and spoke, speaking English with uh, Americans uh, on a daily basis. So that helped me a lot. And of course, I mean, you can say, wow, it's, it's going to be difficult for me. No, it's not going to be difficult for you just if you practice because when you reach a certain level, the rest is just all on you. Ustedes van a llegar a un nivel en el cual eh, después de cierto número de, de niveles de estudiar en cursos y clases, en el cual ya depende de ustedes. It's more personal. It's like uh, you read newspaper, you try to watch the news, you watch movies with the titles in English, okay? Usted ve una película que ya vio, but now play it with titles in English. Those little exercises are the ones who help. I do it. I mean, I love watching uh, stand-up comedy. Me gusta ver la stand-up comedy. And in stand-up comedy, I listen to people speaking English, but sometimes Chinese, Arabian, people from uh, India, but they are speaking in English. What do I do in order to get also the accent? Oh, I get the titles in English. And I have fun, and it helps me to, to learn new words, better words, different expressions, and to, my, to keep my ear up to date with the different accents. So those little tricks help. Ese, esos pequeñitos eh, trucos ayudan. Okay? So as I tell you, it's a matter of practicing, and you never stop. And when you stop, you forget. En esto nunca se aprende, se deja de aprender. Y cuando usted detiene su aprendizaje, comienza a olvidar. Es keep on practicing, using it all the time. Guys, I am, well, I am so happy to finish this course with you because all of you approve. Okay? Estoy muy feliz de haber terminado con ustedes porque todos me, me aprobaron el curso. Excellent, congratulations. You were a very good group. Ha sido un excelente grupo. Uh, it's been a pleasure for me to work with you. And as I told you, uh, uh, for me as a teacher, en mi caso como maestro, como docente, mi trabajo con ustedes no ha terminado porque ha terminado el curso. If you want to keep on practicing on learning, I'm open to all of you, okay? Estoy a disposición de ustedes. And don't worry, I won't charge you. No te preocupes, no les cobro. Okay? We can keep on practicing. No problem. If you got any doubt, contact me. I'm here for you guys. Cualquier duda, me contactan, estoy acá para ustedes. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. And well, I think this is a, no a bye-bye, it's a so long, es un hasta luego, okay? You guys. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher, for Thank you for all. Thank you, teacher, for everything. Thanks to you, guys. Excellent. Thank you were an excellent group. Have a good night, and let's keep in touch, okay? Good night. Okay, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye, -bye. Good night, teacher. Thank good night, everybody. God bless you, everybody. Thank you, Oscar. Thank you. Thanks, Oscar. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. You're a best. Bye. No, you are where the best, best guys. The you best. Are the best. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.